What's up Starcraft fans, you are watching a co-op mission, I am CTG and this is how to play the Haka. My masters are Devour Healing Increase, Pack Leader Active Duration, the Haka Slapping Speed. My ally as well is playing as random and he will get Phoenix while waiting for the loading screen. A huge thank you to Neometal who is supporting me on the Pulse Cannon tier and thank you to all my supporters on Patreon. So. How to play the Haka on Temple of the Past. I picked this map in particular because this is, there's a certain route that you get to maximize resor to maximize your essence. In the early game is the Haka. You want to prioritize control. essence as much as possible. And there's a certain route here that will maximize that essence. Yeah, good luck with an ally. So the build is get a 20 supply and then get an extractor. But it needs more time to be completed. Defending the temple until then is your main objective. And then at 100 minerals, send a drone here. Get the camera location there. Good. Let's get our uh, primal warden here. Now where's the Haka? As soon as the Haka spawns, you want to get to this location to attack the units there because attacking the units gets you essence. So how you want to attack is get devour and leap. Put him in the control group. Our enemies tear. Devour the low health units. You want to devour the low health units because that will that will make your cooldown, your devour cooldown, get by faster. Okay, eat that. Eat this. Okay. As soon as uh, as soon as the primal warden spawns. I'm gonna get myself a Glavix Den. Need more minerals for that. There we go, and get my second gas. We don't have enough minerals. Get this to the control group. Need more minerals get two Zerglings. Attack the rocks. Send the Hawk over here. There we go, get him to attack, get the Yelly upgrade. Alright. Eat that. Oh, it's on cooldown still. There we go. Get another devour upgrade. And Yeah, finish that off. Now get our Get our dudes there. Alright. Let's get more Vars then. Well, not yet, actually. All right. So we have we'll be facing Mech. Let's take care of these dudes. All right. Now that now that Glevig is out, now that Glevig's then is up, let's get our Primal Hive over here. Okay, we're gonna go here. Leap on these. Okay, at level four, at level four, you don't want to get uh, you don't want to get your upgrade yet because at level five, two upgrades will unlock keen senses and keen senses and uh, tightness plating so that will allow you to last even longer. Let's try these. Eat that. Yeah, there we go. Now we can get now we can get both those two upgrades. So at level four, you want to wait a little bit before actually uh, before actually getting your upgrades. Okay, let's destroy these. So it's important that as soon as uh, as soon as Glevix then finishes, you start Murverse then right away. And same for same for Morvar to the Kron. So Phoenix is helping me burst down those uh, those buildings. Glavig is out, so let's uh, I actually need to use Glavig. Let's wait for the next wave though. Before using Glavig. Alright, Mervar is out. We're gonna get this upgrade, Aerial Burst Sacks, so we can allow Mervar to attack air units. Get two. Oh, we're fighting air. Let our ally know that we're fighting air. Alright, use Glavig here. 
we use that so we can damage both the building and the enemies. Alright, so we want to we want to be aggressive with our top bars as much as possible. Get them here to attack all those buildings. There we go. Attack here. That's it. Just get that essence over there. So we want to get. Uh, yeah, we want to get as much as many kills as possible. Because that will get us essence. Get more stuff here. All right. Devour that. Fire upgrade. The only thing. Smash these. Devour. Devour. Just devour these to stay alive. Good. Alright. Destroy that. Can actually destroy this. Aemon has summoned a Void Thrash. It will severely harm the temple for as long as it lives. How much longer? Okay, let's get Mervar out here. We have defeated a Void Thrash. Let's finish this off. Alright. Now at this stage of the game, we want to get three more Primal Wardens. Let's wait over here. Alright, that's going to burst down those that whole attack wave. Okay, when the Haka goes down, you can immediately revive him by sacrificing your workers. Now I wonder what you should go for here. You know what? Let's go for Ultralisks. Is they're pretty fun. Alright, let's help our ally burst down the attack wave here. Actually, I might need the current for my own wave. Because... Alright. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, come on, Dahaka. Alright. Use a prun. Hybrid energy signature detected. Actually, I'll clean this up so we can uh, get our units across. No use. All right. Yeah, destroy these. We can actually go here. Now let's make some ultra lists. Yeah, it's gonna have a long cooldown, but we will be able to get rid of that air, hi air hybrid. Oh, I believe it's going to be here. Fire thing. Oh, go back, go back. Alright, there we go. Next to the ally. Let's get another Yelly upgrade. Get these into Tyrannosaurs. Tyrannosaurs are the evolution of Ultralisks. So it's a good idea to get them. So what you want to do at this point is just spam as many units as you can. You still want to devour. You still want to get kills with the Haka. You use deep tunnel to get here faster. Oh great! Can't follow that command. Okay, the Haka dies again. Can't follow that command. Place down Glevig where where you can. All right, there's going to be another wave here. Let's put our dudes here. Hybrid. Keep using. So, the, so Glevig's ability, Incendiary Acid, is an activated ability. It's not an autocast. So you need to be conscious in using it whenever possible. Let's bring the Haka back to life. Alright, bring these hybrids down. Yeah, it might actually be a good idea at this point to... Uh, okay. 
it might be a good idea at, at this point to get some mulisks. You know what? Let's get some mulisk upgrades. Because we will be facing air hybrids. So it's a good idea to uh, to be able to fight those anyway. Fire thing. Alright. Let's get some hydralisks. We need hydralisks to get to mutalisks. Alright, let's get here. Get that essence. Get more upgrades. Now we can get these into mutalisks. The Mulus upgrades are at the Mur at Murverse then. You want to get uh, Primal Reconstitution first, so that so that will allow your Mulus to have double lives. Let's get one more Ultralisk. Now that's gonna spawn here. It's gonna spawn here. Let's clean these up. Allied forces are under attack. All right. Oh, that's gonna clear that back base. Good. That's good. Let's get more mulisks. There we go, clean that up. We get upgrades, that's fine. We need more Avoid thrasher right, destroy these. Destroy this uh, Void Thrasher. Destroy this. There we go. Burst us down. There we go. Then we can work on the bonuses. <laughs> Ally's just waiting here for the next wave, which will arrive here. Let's try this. Let's go to the next area. I was cleaning it up. Good. Get one is our this guy, and get more units. Let's get, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that guy. All right, clean these. Clean this up. Get more mutalisks. Alright, clean this up. So let's see where the enemy will spawn. Your brood has found something to chew on. There remains one last sentence. Are they here? Yeah, they are here. Let's use Mervar. Clean this up. Alright, good it's good it's a good idea that it's a good thing we got uh we got Mulisks because they can attack air. So clean this up really, really effectively. There we go. Let's get more Hydralisks to turn into Mulisks. Nice, Ally took care of the last bonus. So we're gonna wait here for the next wave, but we're gonna use Glevig to intercept the wave here. Or... We can use uh, the Hakka to get all three upgrades from the essence here. Fire. Levig. Stravers. Alright. Let's go here. Levig goes here. Then make these mulisks. Again, you want to use Glevig's active ability to burst down the attack waves. Alright. Fire. The retreat to Glevig, you wanna keep you wanna keep Glevig alive. Because Glevig is actually easy to burst down. So yes, it's a good idea to keep him alive. Get Glevig back here. Cannot 
Assimilate. Use Must the fire kill. fire thing. There we go. See those last uh, medevacs? I need to set here. Do the fire thing. Oh, need to get that. Need to get that army there. I see the army or the enemy. Need to clean those up. Hybrids. All right. So the next wave will be the double wave spawn or the double attack. Double thrasher. That's the word I was looking for. Anyway, let's go here. Allies are ready in place. Good. Might as well get these upgrades. So as, as you can see, this is clearly obvious. Minerals are not our consuming resource. We only have two workers on each patch, and we're still floating some minerals. And uh, it's not that I I'm I'm not macroing well. It's just that the gas units are really more important for the Haka. These are Tyrannosaurus here. It is almost time. We shall stand eternal. All right. The other thing. They must be annihilated. Destroy these. And go here. Devour these. It's a shame that the Terran doesn't have any. Uh, it's a shame that Terran doesn't have any. Psionic units because I can sh because I am not able to show you the Haka's most powerful ability when he devours the psionic unit to get himself a uh, a psionic explosion, what I call the magic fart that damages all enemy units in a big radius or a small radius really, but still splash damage is splash damage. We're gonna clean this up with our units. Alright. We're gonna lose one here. We're gonna lose a Vilisk here. But that's fine. Oh. There's something here. There we go. So ready for the last wave. <laughs> oh, we're just waiting for the enemy wave at this point. For Daka again, when the enemy as soon as the enemy wave spawns, use your fire thing. Destroy this wave. You tunnel here. Mervar. Run. Destroy these. And GG. There we go, full temple health. That's gonna require All bonuses. Full clear. Alright, I believe that's uh, the best we can get this. <laughs> that's the best result we can possibly have. Even though uh, I'm, I'm sad I'm not able to show you the magic fort. I was still pretty effective without it, because I kept using the Hulk and active abilities, Scorching Breath, the Fire Thing, the Roar, Leap, Devour, all of those are pretty useful, you want to spam those as the Hulk, but again, you want to use Devour on on low health units to, uh, to reset the cooldown much faster, and again, if you can see psionic units such as Sentries, High Templar, Infestors, Vipers, use it on those, because those give the Hulk an area damage attack. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. If you have an idea for it, else could you please leave that in a comment. Let's see the score screen. And for heroes, or for the uh, the primal pack leaders, Glevig is important. He does tons of damage. What you want to do is spawn him in an area where he can maximize his basically a thermal lance, his uh, incendiary acid, and keep him away from enemies. If the enemies focus fire him down, he will die, and it's a and it'll be a waste of the Glovig because he can do tons of damage, and if he if you lose him, that's basically wasted damage. And yeah, for units, you want to go for gas units. The mineral units, I mean, they are they will uh, make you look like you have good macro, 
I mean, they do. They do look. Like, they do make you look like you have better macro, but it's missing the point. The Hakka's powerful units are gas units. It's not balanced like uh, like one v one, where you can maximize both your minerals and gas to get an optimal army. In co-op, that's not the case. There are clear powerful units that disproportionately cost more gas than minerals, and maxing that and maxing out on them is better than mixing in low power units. That's really the reason why it's not it's not a great idea to focus too much on mineral units as the Hakka. There we go. Yeah, like my Alice had twice the kills. Perfect temple health. That's how powerful the Hakka is. Alright, see you.